big floaty, girls. Look at the big floaty. <laughs> Both uh, the hot dog and uh, I'm show you. we made a cute little sign here. There's the shower again. Here's our little sign for a spa. And here's the washroom. We didn't have enough mulch. So we're going to bring some from the city when we come back. But we started to lay down the mulch. And the yes, SI so far looks like this. Just a little place to go outside when you're outdoors for if somebody is using the other two bathrooms and you need to go. This is what it looks like so far. I think it's darling. Really, really cute. I painted the lid. I still have to paint the seat, but I'll do that when we don't have the kids. Over here, we took an old branch and we made it as a handle so we could shut the door from the inside. This is perfect. You could open and close your door so you could just pull your door to you. I might put a handle here because the seat is a little low, but that's good because you're in almost a squatting position and that's how nature wants you to be when you go to washroom, uh, not the way we have our toilets today. So it is a low system. That's the way my father-in-law had done it. And it's perfect because if you want to go to the bathroom, you need to be in a squat position. That's the best way to go. And I might put just another little branch here, right here, to make another handle that you could grab onto as you're going down into a squatting position. But very, very easy, guys. I'm going to fill the hole here. That's where he cut through to get the pipe in. And we'll have to cop that. But pretty much done. I gave it a second coat. But the wood was so old that it just drank it up. But I think it is darling. That's just so you get a little aromatherapy. Isn't it cute? Come on, guys. I think it is. Rustic. Clean. Perfect. I think it's perfect. And that's my new sign we made. So Erica wanted to change, she didn't want that to hook up her, uh, she didn't want this to hook up her, uh, her clothes, so we put that in the corner, and we put up these hooks here, which was perfect because she already took a shower, and it worked perfect. So my daughter's picking what you call pineapple, pineapple weed. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. And this is a taste just like chamomile. So this is a free, a free herb that will give us chamomile tea. tea. But it's called pineapple weed. If you smell it, it okay. smells like pineapple and chamomile. Look, and all along this path, oh look how big that one is, Erica. Over there, there's a few over there. What the So my daughter's gonna pick it up and we're gonna have some fresh and then we're gonna dry some. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. That's Kara. Where's Bella? <laughs> this is Bella. And, and this is JJ. And, and this is you Erica. Do you remember that? Do you remember us from the cookie show? From the cookie show. Well some of them haven't seen our cookie show. This is in your channel. What? A baby deer, you saw it? Okay. Oh, you saw the footprints? Look how many there is over here, Eric. A baby deer, for sure. There's some here, Erica. So that is delicious, guys. If you find, I'm gonna put a nice picture of, uh, picture of it so you can uh, see what it looks like close up, but you can't miss it. When you smell it, it has a smell of chamomile. You wanna just show them what it looks like? That's exactly how it looks like. Just delicious. Makes the best tea. And it has got so many benefits. Really, really delicious. So this is a great start for us because we haven't found any mushrooms. We're going to see if we could find some chanterelles today. And we're taking the side road off the house. 
And we're gonna go along the trail called the Petit Train de Nord. And uh, yeah, if you wanna check my other channel, it's called Connie's Rossum Kitchen. This road here belongs to a neighbor of ours. Nice enough to say that she told us we can take this road as a shortcut to the trail. So we could go for some nice long hikes and find mushrooms. Oh yes, I was saying about the uh, my other channel. Uh, it's a food channel, it's a vegan food channel. Good job, JJ, good job. Yeah, girls, I'm not enough finished recording. It is a vegan food channel, uh, but uh, even if you're not vegan, you might check out some of my recipes. I'm sure you're going to find some delicious recipes. Oh, look, blueberries. Uh, if you find some, you can eat some. So even though you're not vegan, um, I'm sure you could find some delicious recipes you might want to try. I did separate the two, ch uh, the two channels because one is food related and this one is basically about hiking and foraging and all the great stuff that comes with nature. So you should check it out if you can. So hopefully we're going to find some chanterelles today. It hasn't been raining up here. Good boy. It hasn't been raining up here so... Uh, we haven't found much mushrooms, but we did get some rain a few days now, and hopefully we're going to be able to uh, hopefully we're going to be able to find some mushrooms. My husband's cousin said he did find a couple of chanterelles, so maybe we're going to be lucky enough to do so. So I'm going to introduce the trail to you, the Petit Train de Nord. It does connect to the Great Trail of Canada. And that is over 30,000 kilometers. That trail takes a couple of years to complete it. This year is just the bike path that's connected to that trail. So if anybody wants to bike, they could bike. So a lot of people load their bikes and they use their bikes and they uh, find places to tent out at night and camp and they use this trail because this trail takes you from town to town. But really beautiful, very serene. Cara, Bella, do you see there's bikes coming? Yeah. Okay. Bonjour. It is a scorcher today. My daughter's picking up and eating blueberries. But I want a chanterelles. But there you go. This is a little history of this place. It used to be where the train used to pass. And when they took the train away from here, they turned it into one of the longest linear parks ever. There's places where there's rivers and all the great stuff that nature gives us. Now, I'm going to introduce you to another plant. This is called the milkweed plant. And my dog, my dog is trampling all over it. And it is one of nature's uh, food for the monarchs. But this plant's going to make these beautiful flowers that you could actually cook. I have a video. If you go to Connie's Rossum Kitchen, I'm sure if you search milkweed, uh, you'll see a couple of videos there. I'll see if I could transfer that video over to this channel. But uh, eventually it will turn into pods. And these pods are one of the most delicious pods ever. 
they're really yummy full of nutrients and they end up tasting like jalapeno poppers really really good you could deep fry them what do we have no way oh my god am i excited yes so look what we found guys we found chanterelles thank you erica for spotting these they're starting i'm so happy they're a little late Oh, Amanita. good. That's uh, a manita, I think. Mom, yes. I need a bag for this. Uh, you're going to have to go in my... Here, I'm going to show you. Can you hold the dog for a second? I'm going to show you what the chanterelle looks like. Here we go. They have these beautiful ridges. They're not gills. So you got to be careful because there is a mushroom called the jack-o'-lantern. You want to get the bag for me? In the back of my a mushroom. So there is a mushroom that called the jack o' lantern, but uh, you find that more in the fall. That's okay. You see where the other one is. But if you do your homework, you'll see uh, the jack o' lanterns actually glow in the dark eyes. What? There's a baby one there. I'm not sure if you can mm. spot that jack little yellow glow in the dark? head right there. Mushrooms can glow in the dark? Some mushrooms do, yes. Thank you, Bella, for holding JJ. That's an amanita over there. You see the amanita? Come, girls, this is a poisonous mushroom. Right there, you see it? There's a monarch going onto the milkweed. You see that? That's an amanita, I was telling you. That's a poisonous mushroom. Why are amanitas poisonous? Well, they are. It's not, not going to kill you. Mushroom. Oh, look, Erica. Mushroom. Oh, that's an amanita. This is a yellow amanita found up here. I haven't seen any red amanitas up here. But that is a yellow amanita. Aren't they beautiful? How nature makes poisonous mushrooms so inviting. And that's why you need to know how to pick mushrooms, which mushrooms to pick. Learn your mushrooms. There's lots of groups you guys can go to and learn which mushroom is edible and which one isn't. There's some baby chanterelles just re ready to grow. But we're going to leave those little ones. Yes, Nana. What do taste like? They taste like apricots. It's apricot. A fruit. I see something. Bikes to the side, right girls? So yeah, find yourself a nice mushroom group. If you if you check, there's also outings where you could join groups where you go out and find mushrooms and learn your mushrooms before you pick them. But I promise you, after you've picked mushrooms and they're fresh, you will be completely blown away how different it is to eat mushrooms that you pick and mushrooms that you buy at the store. There's no comparison. So I'm going to wait to see what else we find and I'll show you. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Look 
how beautiful that one is, Erica. When you're cutting, oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Look at that mushroom. Girl, Bella, can you pick it, Kara, can you pick it up gently and put it in the bag? Can I put it in the bag, too? There's more there, yeah. There's some up here. Wow, I'm so happy they finally popped their little golden heads. Can you do that or would you want me to go down? No. Okay. Right behind you, you see them? Beautiful, beautiful chanterelles. Beautiful. Here, Kara. Don't come up here, Nana, because you're going to fall in the Look, cliff. Look, guys, this is a really big one. Okay guys, here's a milkweed and that's what the flowers look like. They smell like, uh, oh, they smell like uh, lilacs. Yeah. Really, really beautiful. This is when it starts blooming. You're going to see all beautiful pink flowers. But when you see them like this, you could actually pick those blossoms and fry them up. Or wait till they become pods. Beautiful, beautiful. And when you pick from this plant, you have to be very mindful and only pick a little from each plant because you want to leave this plant so it could regrow and it is food for the monarchs, guys. beautiful are they found very few but these mushrooms are worth it they're delicious they taste just like lobster aren't they beautiful I'm not sure if you could there you go lobster mushrooms let's see what else we could find today and that is a rishi. How beautiful is it? So I'll pick that up too. Make some nice rishi tea. Rishi and lobster. Okay, this is why this mushroom is so hard to find. It's like buried. I need a lot of lobster. Where's the bag? Whatever I have there. I heard it, see it. What's that? This is rishi, mushroom, and lobster. Mm. Okay, put, uh, there we go. Here, hold this. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That is why this is so hard to to find they're like buried underneath you'd have to really check if you see a little bit of orange you check it out because it could be a lobster mushroom how beautiful are they pick some flowers and we added it to the washroom isn't that beautiful, guys? What a pretty place to go. I think so. Uh-huh. Nice. 
Nice job, Connie, I think. Super nice. There we go. Beautiful. Wildflowers from the trail. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you what I did. I'm not sure if you could see it. Okay, you see that shiny stuff? That's aluminum. Uh, when a girl pees and sits down, it kind of hits the wood. So I put some aluminum, well, like an aluminum tray. So this way the urine does not hit the wood and make it smell. A little girly, but I think it looks great. We put a handle here so you can hold on to it while you squat down. Just a piece of branch that you find on the floor somewhere. I might put a cute little curtain there, but I definitely want another window in the back there. See where there's that big crack? I'm gonna put a big window there. And this way, it's going to uh, put a nice net. It's going to have some great air circulation in here. I mean, it does already, but... And we have to fill up those gaps up there. So that's it. He put like a T. I'll show you. Isn't that great, the little handle? This is how we close it for now. Okay, there it is. There's a pipe up there. So that lets all the gases out. Perfect, perfect little outhouse. I think my father-in-law would approve. And this is, I had this cute little branch that was driftwood and we made a little spa sign. There is a toilet and there is a shower. If we make something else, maybe a hot tub. Hmm, that'll be fun. I think that would be beautiful. So there you go, guys. So I'm going to say I love you. We picked enough ch uh, chanterelles today to satisfy us. And hopefully we'll find more next week. But I'm going to say I love you. Stay beautiful. Stay kind. Go out. Breathe the fresh air. And I'll see you in my next video.